when the spirit of your prophecy enters you, you see betrayer as blessing. You see offenses as stepping stone. Joseph said to his brothers, don't feel bad. You meant it for evil, but God turned it around. A man, the spirit of prophecy is moving. Don't see offenses. You see everything that happened to you as an opportunity to move to where God is taking you to. <laughs> Joseph was sold into slavery. He was not angry. Blackmailed in the house of Potiphar. He was calm. In the prison, he said to those young men, when you get to Pharaoh's palace, mention me. That is the picture in my head. Even though I'm in prison, the picture I saw was not prison. So mention me in the palace because that is where I belong. Oh my God. Oh my God. You mean thrown into the pit, it was not affected? Sold into slavery, nothing. Blackmail, didn't move him. Locked up in prison, yet he was excited. Why? There was a picture in his head. Now let me ask you, what picture is in your head? Oh, some things you prayed about have not happened. What picture is in your head? The picture in your head is what guarantees that you go ahead. In Joshua 21 and verse 45, the scripture says, of everything God said, not one failed. In 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19, the Bible calls our prophecy a sure word. So the prophetic picture of our future is a sure word, sure word. Sure word means certain. Words that cannot fail. Lift your hands up to heaven. I stand as God's voice to this age. Whatever word that I've gone forth about your conception, until those babies are born, they will never return back void. <laughs> concerning your marriage, concerning your destiny, concerning your career, I stand here today and I decree that the hand of God will move mightily upon your life. If that is you, can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. 